Okay, there. Now you must be wondering, what is that in there? It's a bag with a bunch of little blue pebbles. Well, no, they're not blue pebbles. They are X dart heads. Now, the thing is that these are molded out of silicone by Explore in Singapore. But as always, they have a release agent. Do you see the cloudiness of the water? I just put these. Okay, this is second run. I always do about three, two rinses, uh, three rinses and two uh, soaps like this, and that's the emulsion from the wax solution that is on the dart heads. I'm sure uh, Mr. Hang can tell us more what is actually on here, um, like to release them. But a silicone, um, silicone dart head is a molded product. It means to release from the mold, it actually has to be, uh, it actually has to a release agent. Fiberglass is the same thing. We used a, 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 a high-temp mold release that was made from canuba wax, a certain density of canuba wax, and then we waxed the molds that were uh, gel coat, and the molds were made out of, I would say, four to six layers of cloth and, um, and a three-ounce mat. And it was about a half an inch laminate, they were real thick, but there was also a special tooling resin that was flexible and you can bend them out. Well, anywho, these are the same thing, they're molded products. Okay, and so what you have to do is you have to uh, uh, get that off, and what it does is you're using a normal soap. I use Dawn detergent, okay, and it gets it out of there. It gets the the molders out of there. This makes it so you can use a good glue, like um, I use Go To Glue, and because it's silicone, the glue's silicone, it grabs the foam. It has a good adhesion as long as there's nothing in between. A lot of darts that fall off or fall apart is because people don't do that. Now this is not just for the ones I make. This is for every dart that comes out of the store, assembled or not. That way the when you get them, they you don't have to deal with the uh you don't have to deal uh with with the darts um with a dart adhesion, you don't have to do all this stuff. Especially if you're only buying twenty dart or dart heads or fifty or you know what I mean. It's just a pain in the butt. That right there is five hundred heads. That's 500. We'll get back to this later. Alright, so with the drain partway closed, I dumped that out of the bag, as you can see. And we are rinsing, rinsing, rinsing with perfectly clean hands. Wash your hands beforehand, of course, because you don't want to get crap on these. Remember, cleanliness is godliness when it comes to dark. Okay, so. There it is. So I, I, I'm going to put these in so. And that's it. Yeah. This is our rinse process right here. Might go for another wash. I'm not sure yet. Alright. So I hit it with a wash and another rinse. Okay, in the sink. Uh, we're getting there. And I am going to notice it's that full pot. And of course my hand, because the nerve damage I had from having a stroke, it doesn't register. You can see the hands, they're red, man. I mean, they're next to the first degree burn right there. Doesn't hurt me. Like a day at a water park. Pretty crazy, huh? They look almost good enough to drag. Woo! Playing the water! Playing the water!